next to you The sky is more blue In Malibu Next to you Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and click the subscribe button below as well as turn on your bell notifications to be notified when I upload. And today's video is going to be part of my paranormal series. And this was when I explored a ghost town. Yes, I explored a ghost town. This was back in February or March. I had to take my puppy as well as my boyfriend's puppy all the way down to Brooks to get spayed and neutered and they told me that my puppy would take longer. She would probably take about eight hours just because she's a girl. It's a more invasive surgery. So I was googling things to do in the area. Brooks is about a two to three hour drive from Calgary. I think it's more like two hours and it's south. So I just googled things to do there. I didn't really come across anything other than the Brooks Viaduct which is just like a big bridge that used to carry water and it's super old and it hasn't carried water in a really long time I don't think and yeah I mean that was the only thing to do there so I was like okay I can't just be there for eight hours might as well just explore the area so I googled ghost towns in the area to check out there was a lot of them there was a lot more I don't know there's one called Flowerdale that I really wanted to go to. It was just basically ruins. It kind of looked like the ruins on Christmas Island or something like that. Just like rock type ruins that looked super ancient and old and I wanted to go there. But I ended up going to Retlaw instead. And Retlaw was... Retlaw is about 45 minutes away from Brooks so it's fairly close. If you live in the area you can definitely go check it out. I'm sure you have already if you live somewhere close by. So this town of Retlaw was, I actually had to go down a highway and down a dirt road until I got there. My GPS took me there just fine. Mm -hmm. The great thing about living in the prairies is that everything is flat and you have cell service everywhere even in the most weirdest places that you wouldn't expect to have cell service you do. So I ended up going to this ghost town and what I found was really really creepy. My dad is really also into ghost towns and history and stuff like that so we did go there all together and I showed this super creepy thing to my mom and she was not at all creeped out by it but I will show you guys pictures as well as the video. It's It was really hard to capture this but I kind of tried to. There's a little bit of like reflectiveness because this was behind glass, but I will show you that towards the end of the video. I'm gonna be talking about the history of Retlaw. So this is a little bit of a stretch from my more paranormal type videos. I was gonna actually put this footage into a vlog, but then I thought about the series and I'm like, this is a perfect video for that. The history of this town is a little bit different, but it's not, super scary but what I did find when I got there was scary if that makes sense so yeah let's go ahead and get started on the history of Retlaw Alberta Retlaw is located roughly 20 to 30 minutes away from Vauxhall or Vauxhall Alberta I don't know how to pronounce the name I read the name on signs when I was going to Retlaw but I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it so that is like the major town in that area. So Retlaw is actually a town that was meant for like a railway town slash, you know, farmlands and all that stuff. Just your typical prairie town. And it was incorporated in the early 1900s. And by the time the railway went through there, this town was just booming. There was a lot of people that lived there. There was a lot of farmland, a lot of buildings. They had a blacksmith shop, a post office, a church, and a bunch of other buildings, houses and whatnot. And by the time, by the time 1920s rolled around, the pipe that carried water from town to town had actually been built in a Vauxhall, which is like I said, about 20 to 30 minutes away. Back then, they didn't have cars, so they took horses everywhere, and I believe it took like a day to get to Vauxhall. So it was pretty far away in those days, but not as far in these 
current modern times, you know? So once the irrigation pipe had gone through Vauxhall instead of Retlaw, Retlaw pretty much dried up. There was fires, there was just crops were not growing as expected. It, they had really long, cold, harsh winters and really short summers that were super windy all the time. So the crops were failing. It was pretty much the Great Depression and that area so people started moving away and by the time 1925 hit this place was a ghost town as you can imagine a lot of buildings that were left over there are pretty old there is one thing in particular that I did notice when I got to Retlaw and that was there was one person living there and I will get to that later in the video what I found when I got there the first thing that I noticed was well, I was on a dirt road <laughs> and the first thing that I came up to was a church and this church a lot of people come to to take pictures and stuff. If you go on Instagram and you like, I don't know, you type Brett Law or you type or you go to the location or whatever, a lot of people do their engagement pictures and wedding pictures in front of this church because it's just super old and it just looks really nice and, pre and I was going to say prehistoric looking, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I just mean like old looking, like it has character. I still hold functions there at certain times of the year, like at Christmas. I drove down the street until I stopped at a couple, there was a couple buildings left over. So the blacksmith shop was still there, the post office was still there, and the mayor's house was still there. The mayor's house looked like it was just, I don't know, out of a movie, like a scene out of a movie where somebody just up and left. They left all their belongings there. There was like a mattress in there and I'll, I'll insert clips and photos throughout this video. But there's like mattresses in there and you know just like stuff you would leave behind. And I don't think that house is going to be there for very long because the roof was caving in and all that stuff. You definitely do not want to go inside that house. I just don't know how long it's going to be there for. It's like it was collapsing pretty much. When I got to this house, I actually found a stray cat that was underneath, that was living underneath the house. And it was super friendly. It was like following me everywhere as I was exploring this town. So I kind of felt bad for leaving it there. But I did notice at the end of the street, there was one house that had like children's toys in the yard and a dog. Didn't want to take the cat thinking that it might belong to that family. So if you think, Oh my gosh, why didn't you rescue this cat from this ghost town? I think that there's one, I do believe that there's one family that resides there currently, which, oh man, if I lived in the middle of nowhere, like there's literally a dirt road to get there, you'd probably need a snowmobile in the wintertime because of how harsh our winters are. I just can't imagine going on a snowmobile to get to the next town over, that's just, oh. And not only that, is there's no street lights, nothing. They kept this town pretty much preserved the way it was in the early 1900s. So there's like no street lights anywhere. Can you imagine how dark at night that would be? So I continue on looking at all the buildings and I came across the post office. Outside the post office was this little tiny building. And I'm like, what the heck is that? It looked like a dog house. It was that size. And inside this house, you guys, there was dolls. <laughs> yes, dolls. They were the creepiest like porcelain dolls that I've ever seen. I just, I don't know, they were perfectly preserved from whenever they were put there. I don't know if they were put there in the 1900s when this town was first established or if they were put there afterwards. I'm not completely sure, but these dolls look like they were over 100 years old. They were completely preserved. The hair was just like, I don't know, it was crazy. And I definitely tried to take pictures, but you can see the reflection of my phone in the glass because this house is actually really well made. It has glass all around it. It has like glass windows and it just, it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me how preserved everything was and basically it was like set up like a classroom. There was a teacher at the front and then there was like two or three other dolls that were their students. It was just insane. I can't believe my mom wasn't even phased by it. She was just like, oh cool, dolls. 
that's kind of weird but then she kind of was just like whatever <laughs> but for me I was just like I can't believe this is still there this is part of history is still there and nobody's of course nobody's gonna go through all the trouble of driving down a highway to a dirt road and all the way into Retlaw to vandalize this so of course it's gonna be preserved just like everything else in this town is but they're with dolls. I found dolls in a ghost town. Isn't that crazy? I don't know the story behind it. I tried to Google it, but I couldn't really find anything about the history of these dolls. It's kind of one of those like really creepy things that I did not expect to find there. I expected to find older buildings, but I did not expect to find dolls. I know this wasn't like a super paranormal crazy story, but it was a ghost town. I had a great experience there. I really enjoyed going there. Enjoy so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.